my name is Gabriel Kuhn. Um, I'm originally from Austria. I've been living in Sweden for a few years. And um, I'm mainly involved in radical publishing projects of different kinds. For me personally, I take a very basic definition, which you know, means abstaining from intoxicants. So that includes alcohol, nicotine, um, other common drugs. Uh, that's my personal definition. It's, it's as I said, very basic. Uh, other people have different definitions. Obviously, one question is, you know, what exactly uh, intoxicants are. So some people will draw different lines than I personally would draw. Like they would, you know, exclude caffeine, uh, sometimes even refined sugar or whatever. Um, I really don't think there's much point in arguing about where exactly you draw that line. It's up to each individual. Other people also see animal rights. So you know, vegetarian. Veganism, veganism as a really important part of straight edge identity. Um, I do see those things as important uh, political statements. For me personally, they're not necessarily part of straight edge identity, but obviously you can have different opinions too. Some people also have, um, you know, specific views on sexuality and think that that's an important part of straight edge identity. I think there's honestly there. I think there are two aspects to it. One is that some people just don't like, you know, being intoxicated. <laughs> Um, I think that's one of the, it sounds simple, maybe trivial, but I think that's a main motivating factor for a lot of people to be straight edge, especially if they're straight edge for a long time. It just, it's just something that corresponds with, you know, their inner needs, if you will. Um, and I think straight edge is important for those people because, you know, it gives them a sense of, of community, um, collective identity. So you don't, you know, feel isolated and alone in a sense as you do, I think, often feel if, if you have, you know, problems with intoxication culture that very often is all around you. Um, the other motivating factor, I think, sometimes is that, that people who um, maybe have problems, you know, or have, uh, with um, substance use, which doesn't necessarily create problems, but I think for some people it does. And so they discover straight edge as something that helps them to deal with those problems. Um, so I think that's a second important motivating factor. If you think of people who are at straight edge a long time, it's either because it corresponds to something that they want to be anyway, if you will, or because it helps to deal them with, um, you know, substance abuse problems. Well, I think just traditionally the hardcore scene and therefore also the straight edge scene has been very male dominated um, and also I guess you know what you call heteronormativity uh, you know a, a kind of assumption of heterosexuality has been a big part as well which meant that for a lot of queer people it's, it hasn't necessarily felt very a lot of queer people haven't necessarily felt very comfortable to move within um, those circles and also a lot of females who have you know felt comfortable and so what I guess the, the contributions to the book tried to do was to you know look at that that history ask questions why that is how it can change and also how there can be a positive exchange you know what you know how feminist ideas and you know queer culture can help if you will you know the straight edge scene the straight edge movement to become a, a better movement if you will um, and also the other way around though like how you know uh, straight edge principles you know can can be connected uh, to queer culture feminist um, principles uh, you know ways in which both can overlap and support one another um, and I think it's just you know it's, I, I'm happy that the contributions are in the book because I think very little work has has done has been done on that and there are not a lot of texts out there and I think the texts in the book are you know very inspiring and encouraging and hopefully um, stimulate some more debate that I think is important there is a history of, of combining you know straight edge identity with um, um, and sober living uh, with radical political ideas and then radical political action so I think that's hopefully both inspiring for uh, you know straight edge people who uh, have an interest in radical politics and also identify maybe as radical activists but hopefully it's also inspiring for non straight edge you know people who are politically active and have always kind of felt that 
that people who are straight edge aren't necessarily great comrades or whatever because they're too moralistic or too dogmatic or you know outright conservative or whatever because that's not true I mean there's you know history shows that there are a lot of straight edge people who, who aren't that way you know um, who are straight edge for reasons I mentioned before and who can be great comrades and who are not judgmental um, if others you know make different personal choices and and so hopefully the book's inspiring in, in, in that sense. You know? Well, the, the things I always use certain catchphrases, I can do it real quick, you know, I mean, I think um, focus is an important thing, like the, you know, most common example, if you spend, you know, a weekend being wasted, you probably won't get a lot of things done, including activist work, if, you know, you're sober, you have more time to work on stuff, including, you know, activist things. Um, and not a one is uh, independence. I think if you know, with any addiction that you develop to a substance or a habit or whatever, you lose, you know, a, a certain degree of your personal independence, so which you know might lead to the fact that, for example, you end up supporting, you know, big corporations that you don't really want to support, but you know, you kind of have to because you've developed certain habits. So I guess straight edge can help avoiding that. Needless to say, you know, you always we live in a society where you're forced to make compromises all the time. You know, in one way or another, support big corporations all the time too. But that doesn't mean that if you can cut it out at certain levels of your life, that's not a good thing to do. So I think straight edge can help with that. Um, and then I think there's also the maybe it's a bit of a symbolic aspect that that you know I think historically alcohol and drug culture has been tied into a lot of politically very problematic aspects where you know what's going from from its that the big role it plays in domestic violence to um, you know being being part of of government campaigns to crush uh, uh, urban rebellions you know African American communities for example it's documented that they've been that um, if you will been infiltrated by uh, drugs to, to um, divert attention from political struggle to other issues if you will and then historically also you know that I mean alcohol has always been a, a big factor in the colonization of indigenous people and so I think in those ways you know you, that those are ways in which a straight edge sober life if you will you know can contribute to good activist work to me it was mainly two things I think one was basically to show um, as I said before that you know if you're if you're straight edge it doesn't mean that you're you know judgmental or dogmatic or moralistic or even boring for that matter um, that that you know there can be other reasons for that um, and that you can you know tie um, you know being sober being straight edge to very radical ideals um, and and clearly distance yourself from certain conservative aspects that often are associated maybe with you know sobriety or whatever um, so that that was one aspect and and the other one was I guess which if you will is a bit stronger you know to not necessarily make him make an argument for being straight edge and sober or whatever but at, you know the points that I tried to you know illustrate before that there are certain aspect that aspects that I think are are worth thinking about you know when it comes to the connections of politics and and um, drug consumption basically so if, if you will you know help to raise awareness about those issues definitely not you know to make people become straight edge or whatever because I don't know I don't care at the end of the day that's not what's decisive but yeah I, I think I would like to contribute with the book to discussion around issues like alcohol you know slash drug consumption in radical communities and, you know, society in general